right, so this is the start of a new series. I'm gonna try to shoot it on the go live. I'm not gonna try to edit it afterwards. It's a trip to Oregon, a little bit of Washington, and right now I'm camping out with my parents at uh, Okanagan Provincial Park. So this is my mother, Svetlana, and she is teasing my new partner on the road. Well, he's not my new partner. His name is Misha, this guy here. And the other guy right now is sleeping in the truck. This one is a little bit hyper, proactive. Uh, he's three years old. The guy in the car, five years old. So what I have for them is a little mesh here, windows open. Uh, just so mosquitoes, whatever, uh, don't get in. And if I open the door, this is uh, my giant cage. Uh, cooler for all the oyster and clam gathering and all that stuff in Oregon and Washington my luggage case there uh, buckets all that kind of stuff camera gear on the other side and uh, Yeah, this guy's sleeping somewhere down there Yeah, so this is my Setup I took out the seats here. Uh, it was folded about up to here. So now I have this Giant space here. I don't think I'll be putting my seats back anytime soon. No one uses them, so why bother? But there's like this huge trunk now. And this is my father here. So. Hi. Yeah, good luck on your next trip. Yeah, it's not gonna be dangerous this time. Uh, Alright, I hope so. Uh, although I will try to do a little bit of Oregon backcountry discovery route, so who knows? Sure, I hope I won't get any more satellite calls. Ah, uh, you may. With SOS. You may. <laughs> so from this side, I got my uh, camera bag here. Got some more water, juices, all that, uh, ferret, uh, pool uh, thing, whatever, to change. Lots of hats. This is all my luggage here. Never use these things, but I probably will have to. And uh, what's new happened besides this fabrication lately mm -hmm. is I have installed solar panel on the roof. It's a small one, 100 watts, but it's enough, should be, even in day like today, there is not a whole lot of sun, as in there is sun, but there is uh, uh, all this uh, cloudiness, smoke in the area. Uh, the whole BC been burning uh, past two weeks or so, or more than that. So it's all like haze everywhere. But even this haze is giving me right now one amp, and this is not even midday, so it should be improved. Uh, yeah, so this is just that one, uh, 20 to 25 percent efficiency one. Uh, all powers, I think, is the brand. Uh, this, I didn't drill any holes. I just used a uh, Durabond, no, no, uh, Eterna Bond tape. This is designed for RVs to seal leaks and that kind of stuff, and it holds my uh, solar panel. So then I run cable over there in the hood, then run it in the fire port here. I had to extend big, 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 big hole, and then it runs here, goes through this panel. I didn't have to drill holes, just the panel comes out. And uh, on this other side is where I installed my solar controller, right here. So, uh, it's like this, this section is for a magazine uh, holder kind of thing. There is a wooden block just behind it. I'm not sure if you can see or not. Um, yeah, and just like some holes drilled through it, through wooden block and through a little bit of plastic over there. And it's giving me right now, let's see actually. So, come on. Uh, one amp, yes. And the drain of battery right now, what I have plugged is 1.6 because I'm charging some things and the fridge is probably triggered right now. So this solar panel is a new install. I had it for about two weeks now. I'm still kind of determining if it's enough for me or not. I just have a ATM power AGM, uh, my starter battery. Just recently switched because it's AGM. Uh, it's much better for uh, power distribution, uh, re also uh, re-energizing it or charging it uh, from both solar or just driving. It's uh, much, much quicker. So it should be okay for me. Uh, but I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure if I need a second one or not. Uh, I still haven't determined it yet. Maybe I will. I mean, the panel only something like this costs like 120 bucks, I think. And I did get solar controller that's 20 amps MPPT. Uh, you gotta go MPPT uh, solar controllers because it's like 30% more efficiency. And the controller was also something like 150 bucks Canadian. So that's not, I'm talking Canadian prices. So it's not too bad. It's like relatively cheap setup I got here. Because I was looking at a foldable case panels with built-in built uh, solar controller. Problem is weather. I wanted something that's like, it doesn't matter, I'm in the rain and the winter is just sitting there. With those, you kind of want sun, because as soon as there is moisture and stuff, you can't keep them outside, not really. Whereas this stuff, uh, it's all inside uh, the controller, so I don't have to really care about maintenance and you know, that stuff folding. And plus the cases cost in Canadian something like 800 bucks, 100 watt, it's like, no. This is like twice cheaper. Oh yeah, and just recently I installed this uh, light strips. It's a uh, Lumi noodle. There's a remote control for them right here. Uh, and I have them connected up here on the roof to like a couple of little batteries. And the wires run over here into extension. So I ran, I fell asleep with them on at dimmed level and uh, uh, they were pretty much on all night and I have battery pack there, 20 uh, microamp hours. They didn't even drain a bar from that out of four bars. So I'm pretty happy. I can potentially for the night even so not to drain anything from battery. I could just plug it into my little battery pack over there and charge battery pack during the daytime. Yeah, charging my camera gear stuff right now. So yeah, that's my that's been my new update, and I got this stuff here. Can change colors, different modes. Yeah, it's like uh, almost like a pimp mobile here with all this. Uh, I'm just missing the rotating bed. That's all I'm missing. Ah, uh, the older guy woke up. I think it's time to do a little walkie walkie with that guy. Yeah. Yeah, Muscat. So this one, this one's Brown's one name is uh, Muscat. I'll do a rig walk around probably in the next couple of episodes uh, after camping with parents for a few days. Yeah, I'll kind of update everything that's been done to the truck so far, uh, including repairs, just everything, everything. That's probably going to be my episode in a couple of episodes. And like I said, the idea for this trip is really just to veg out, do the whole van life type of lazy beach bombing uh, camping maybe do a little bit of droning try to edit all this stuff on the phone and uh, just enjoy life and look who is here so brad from baja actually lives in kelowna and he decided to swing by you guys don't know him yet i still haven't processed my baja footage but he brought some he brought sidu so we're gonna have some fun and that was his rig over there and a little bit rusted out. This used to be brand new when we met. It's a little rusty. I like his uh, dark side. A little Star Wars. Yeah. So let's introduce Brad. So this is Brad right here. We made it back. He was awesome companion in Baja. We had some fun. Uh, he was a little rough on me sometimes but we figured it out he yeah can't handle his booze <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah whiskey drinker right here uh yeah it's definitely memorable i don't know about you for me it's like stuck in my memory of this trip and you yeah perfect and the lady wants to move the jeep because it's on the way of big rigs I think so we're gonna ask me out Victor. she is yeah probably i think she's bored <laughs> She's been looking at you, now she wants a real man. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's Brad. That's my Brad right here. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, let's drink some beers and uh, maybe do a little bit of sidu in footage after. Now that Brad arrived here officially, it's beer o'clock time. And this is going to be my, for the trip, my, uh, what do you call it, hipster hat. So don't be surprised. Have another one, anti-sun one. This one's more... I don't know. I'll, I'll see what I can do with it. I actually took it to do some uh, funny little video, but I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna do it. Anyway, 
So what I did just now, oh, there is a problem with this camera. Uh, that's Sony A6500. Problem is I've been shooting everything uh, since I got it in H AVC HD format. This is 50 megapixels MP4 format. And that one you can't wirelessly transfer from the camera onto the phone through uh, Play Memories app. And I need this ability. So the whole process of editing on the go becomes kind of easy. Uh, so I shot today a little bit of footage and I'm like What if that app on the phone can't even process that footage? So what I did just now I used my hard drive took out SD card uh, Plugged it uh, to hard drive, you know uh, now I'm gonna transfer those files to my phone uh, And see if the app actually recognizes it uh, but mp4s Normally before 16 I think megabits this camera can actually transfer no problem wirelessly so now all my settings like I switch to mp4 and uh, I'm not sure how much of a quality loss that's gonna be or if it's gonna be visually noticeable uh, That's what I'm gonna be using, but I wonder if I need to reshoot everything I shot before so I'll do that right now while well, Brad went to unload Sidu. Uh, All right, it's Sidu time. Let's check this out. This is Okanagan Lake. Or, yeah, I think it's called Okanagan Lake. My parents chilling there. And, oh, actually the sign says no animals on the beach because I wanted to come with ferrets to chill out here. But I guess it's gonna have to be Washington and Oregon coast. Yeah. There is supposed to be like some hills and all that stuff there, but because of the haze of smoke, can't hear see anything. So where's the guy? The guy is right over there. You do realize in the sun and this angle when you're all wet like this you do kind of look sexy. <laughs>
Oh, oh, this one. I took this guy out. Uh, he, I neglected them today. I need to start getting out, get them out uh, several times a day. But the other guy is a little hyper and he was sleeping. I just grabbed this guy because he didn't get enough walks yeah, get today. Air, yeah, because the other, the younger one hyper, he came out several times, so I grabbed him. But this guy was sleeping, so I felt guilty not, you know, yeah. not letting him do his charity things. And uh, Brad, thanks for coming out and no worries, doing man. this whole cedar thing. Yeah. Totally digged it. Hopefully, there's no forest fires next time. <laughs> oh, it should be fine. Several, couple of years. It's pretty much same situation every year now. The well, fires. Well, two years for sure. Last year and, uh, Last and this year. Last year, July was all floods. Couldn't even put the seed in the water. The whole month of July. What do you mean? But couldn't like, get the, couldn't get, all the boat launches were closed. Oh, they didn't want boats creating but there were still uh, forest fires, crazy, like uh, in... Uh, in August, yeah. August yeah. is always forest fires. So it's similar here. Uh, like in Vancouver last year, it was July, actually. Uh, July and, and, and August, July and August. But I do remember that it was a, a, a month and a half. Where are you going, Marata? It was really like, like here, like yesterday, the day before yesterday. Yeah. But the whole month. Oh man, Brad is leaving. That sucks. I'm gonna miss you, guy. Yeah, come Baja want, with me. If you want, take a short trip into town tomorrow. Come Baja. Again, come on. No. You can do Costa Rica after that. No, I already did Baja. I'll do that in a couple years. No, but it's it's not even at this point, it's not even doing Baja for the sake of doing Baja. It's the camaraderie of traveling <laughs> together. You, some place you missed doing all the rest of Baja because you turn around halfway well I'm gonna do it this time you gotta go to Cabo Como you gotta go there yeah big underwater nature reserve it's crazy man turtles you name it I'll do it I'll do it next time hey stinky here hey, stinky. say bye grab him grab him bye, grab him oh, he's gonna give me a low no, five no, no. Go. and a high five <laughs> Actually, Ooh, uh, actually, nose. you know what? He's got the, a cold, wet nose. You know what? The guy that actually did this roof uh, at the country customs, uh, he was Mexican guy named Rod, and he is likely coming to Baja with me. So he's got relatives in uh, Guadalajara. He wanted to drive Baja, then take ferry, then oh, drive then to take go. Ferry over, yeah. yeah, and because uh, he physically actually worked on my truck, like sure, the main guy helped with design all that, right? But he, he is the worker. He's the welder. And we, yeah, we talked, and uh, he's like, yeah, I want, always wanted to do a strip. I think he came from Mexico five years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, they have been living in Alberta first. Uh, he was working on. I actually talked to him briefly with his wife, and uh, he apparently in, lived in Alberta first five years. He only moved uh, to BC eight months ago, and he was working on heavy machinery over there, like all the tractors, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but yeah, like you can take the ferry. Yeah. Over well, I, I'm gonna have to because these guys are gonna be staying all inclusive in Puerto Vallarta, and I want to visit them. So, yeah. Puerto Vallarta is nice. I've been there 11 times. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there about three or four times myself. Yeah. I've been there 11 times. Yeah. But see, it's always been by plane. By car, it's gonna be yeah. a little different. It's gonna be cooler. Well, yeah, thanks nice. for coming, Brad. It was nice yeah, seeing you good. again. And there he goes. So, this was the first day of my trip. Uh, it's not Oregon yet, it's not Washington. But it started kind of nice still. Uh, did a little bit of sea uh, Just, yeah, it's a good start. So I'll try to edit this tonight. Well, today, right now, basically, I'm gonna start editing. So for you, it's gonna be tomorrow. Uh, but I'm sure I can get squeeze all this stuff in tonight on the phone. It's it's a first try. So I'm not sure if it's going to be daily uh, episodes or maybe every few other days. But regardless, uh, till next time. See ya. Well, I hope you liked this episode. And if you did, you can support me by uh, hitting the like button and subscribe. And also check out my previous videos uh, by hitting the links below or just after this video.